Boss. Take. The wall. <laughs> the wall. Discombobulate. Hello there. I've got a new build. It's a very rage inducing build. Don't ever use it unless you really want to win a duel or a match because it really doesn't care about people's feelings. I call it the frenzied bike build. Here are the stats. Where is the button? Yo, Cosmos! I knew thy incompetence since the start. If you mess up again, you're out. You heard? I heard, I heard, Lord Cosmos. I know my mistake now. I will proceed to showing the audience the fruits of my labor. I have committed massacres by frenzying people with my very insane build. And here are some of the misunfortunate who decided to wield a blade against my iron melting flames. And now, the frenzied build, stats and equipment. The good thing about my build is still a meta build with rune level 125. And this means although you will fight mostly sweaty fights at this level range, but mostly not spamming L2 crutching players that always lurk in higher levels. This is by no means a sweaty try hard build, rather a good gimmicky build that will inflict your foes with despair, madness and anger. Stats, vigor 57, endurance 30, strength 21, dexterity 48, which will be our main damage output stat. Intelligence 60, Faith 20. We will use some tally to increase some stats to allow us to use a wide range of weapons. Poise is not a concern, just don't get hit. What? The idea of this build isn't to play optimally, rather to give off that frenzied aura by focusing on broken madness over practicality. Our main madness weapons are Vikes Dual Spears, The Maddening Hand, and Nanya's Torch. Armor any armor type, but most importantly, Black Dumpling Helm to increase damage after Madness Pro. Tally, two free slots, you can use whatever for them, but two fixed, which are Age 1's Exaltation and Madness Pro damage increase, Great Jar Arsenal to boost our equipment load, Star Scroll Elum if you wanna use some heavy strength weapons, which I will showcase later, cause it's cool. Consumables, a Great Madness Pot and Roped Frenzied Pot. Now that's how you introduce yourself, I'm proud. Thanks Lord Cosmos. Now, demonstration with Frenzied commentary of how the match win and what mad techniques I, like the frenzy, have used to eliminate my foes and cause massive damage, terror and pain upon them. Shall we proceed? Have mercy up Vengeance! You shall taste the frenzied flame! <laughs> Let chaos take the wall. Let chaos <laughs> take the wall. The wall. I will never forget you. I want to see you burn. Die. 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 Get chaos. Take. 
Hello, it's me Vike again. One question. Does my build hold up against the Meta Slave? Let's review this fight. The player starts off with good armor, heavy to the brim, probably changing tally according to what my build is, while clutching on heavy Meta weapons, the sham with greases. This is the ultimate Meta, Full House, and this player in particular is known in the community. That's why I made a special segment for him without cuss to show players that meta builds and meta crutches can be countered with any build, even a dagger build. It heavily depends on skill, stamina management, patience, and emphasis on war psychology. Watch as I annihilate and discombobulate this worthy foe. I'm wearing him down with my pots before engaging to test the waters. It seems he's having an issue of engaging. He is playing overly passive, which is a good sign I have the upper hand. Making the foe angry or wearing him down is a slow type of winning, but will spill into your benefit eventually. This player will soon go for meta quatch when he uses the rot grease, a dangerous mix in Colosseum, and is used by people who are pissed and want to get back at someone. But Vike, the frenzied, knows how to handle himself. Even with his gimmick build, he's superior and his dominance is vivid. <laughs> Blending attacks is always a good thing to do to catch your foe off guard like this. After the first hit, with your confidence, they will scatter like ants and the psychology of the losing in their minds will start as counter. Don't be faced by their armor or high pose. Do it. Mike, do it. You have it in I wanna see you burn. Die! 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 Fire yourself! I don't forget! Let's get us! Take! I wanna see you burn! I want to see you burn! What are you no. all?
want to see you burn. Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. One fight that made me feel angry is that fight with that guy. He was using the most meta dueling shield out of the two, trying to secure a win by any means, using any means necessary. And in the messages he was acting like he was chill. You be the judge. Is this fight chill? Then we chatted in the messages again and his response was I can use whatever and do whatever in the game, it's okay. And my response was it's okay then to throw poop pots at you. Then he asked to duel me and the result was as follows. Enjoy. As you can see, he is crushing on heavy meta, trying to win with the most via ways. Yes, this game allows to use any weapon, but come on G, are you really going to use the bomb ball parried with the ultra dueling shield, accompanying with a facade attitude trying to look chill, but you are really not acting good in the game. If the game allows fan daggers, can I spam it 40 times in a row and still be cool with everyone? It's cool for mages to run away and not be effective mages who know how to stand their ground? These examples are to refute your argument, I can use whatever. Yes, you can use whatever, but you won't get good, nor you have a good audience reception in the community. That's all man. adventure we grow in forever brilliance and magnificence
Disclaimer, this video may induce fear and psychosis or epilepsy, includes flashy lights, horrifying sounds and morbid commentary. Hey, I'm Cosmos, hope you liked this video, stay tuned for more videos of the same caliber of heavy editing and just good content. Share your comments down below, please like and subscribe to help the channel out, thank you all and the good grace of God be upon thee. Until the next one, bye.